Hello, hello, welcome to another episode. We are back with the Neuroscience series with the one and only Siddharth Warrior, Siddhi. We of course have uh, the rest of the panel. We have Anshuman, who is broker. Welcome. And we have Devaya. For a lot of you who don't know, Devaya used to be uh, one of the head writers at AIB. And now Devaya is a colleague of mine and we write all our ads together. Devaya is oh. here for a very special reason because today's episode is about the neuroscience of marketing. Let's get to it. So this is super interesting. You guys have been in the depth of marketing for the last, what, two, three years. Um, and you are, you have created some of the most iconic ads, I feel like, in the last two, two years. Instinctively, what do you think marketing is now? Because I, I'm guessing you, you haven't really attended, gone through like an MBA or any of that stuff, right? Everything that you've learned is sort of on the road, on the job. Yeah. So what is your take on marketing? Marketing wins if you're able to hold people's attention. I find successful marketing to be anything that's that's able to stand out uh, in today's yeah. extremely hyper-connected world. Devay, I mean, you must have also figured this out that in today's world where literally everything is vying for that one thing, what Tanmay said, attention, you are actually competing with not just other brands. You are competing with things like Netflix. Correct. You are competing with YouTube. You are competing with Swiggy, for God's sake. So everybody is trying to get your attention. So I think you nailed it right at the start. Marketing is actually all about attention. But Correct. before that, like before you get someone's attention, do you think you need to establish something a little more primal, which is trust? in this whole digital world no I, I feel you just have to be most human like show your vulnerabilities and just be funny like just be the most interesting person on the internet before the skip ad button comes <laughs> you have to prove you're human you have to prove like some 10 qualities before the skip ad button hits the screen yeah absolutely i mean people have actually compared marketing with uh, putting up your profile on tinder because that's the amount of time that somebody will look at your photo and your bio before swiping left or right Mm. And so, quite literally, now in today's world, everybody is a marketer <laughs> because they all have to sell themselves in that four seconds of attention. The most important thing is actually fear. If you are afraid of something, that is going to keep your attention. Correct. But you are not going to buy from them. So, when you are talking of marketing, the one thing that will keep somebody's attention is trust. You are you trust that thing. You trust that person. You trust that source. And when I say trust, at a biological level, trust means that That is it. It is a very primal, primitive thing. So if the source is trustworthy, you're likely to pay more attention to it. Especially in a trust deficit country like ours, where we are inherently mm. mistrusting of anyone, right? Like we will trust mm. a politician more than someone who comes works at our house. Trust becomes that much more valuable. And mm. trust is built with familiarity, consistency, shared values. Like and Anshu would uh, chip in on this because that's that's exactly how money also works. Uh, when you say I trust money, it's only if uh, that if somebody gives me 100 rupees, I can give it to somebody else and that is the value still 100 rupees. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, my trust in that money is gone. Exactly. That's why a country like Zimbabwe is more likely to adopt a cryptocurrency than a country like India because we still believe in the government. We still believe that the central bank will do something to hold the value of that currency. IKEA has somehow maneuvered itself into this unique position where they are covering all the points which are good. So trust, uh, familiarity, uh, you can go anywhere and you'll find the same product. Mm. It is beautiful, it mm. is cheap, and it is expensive. Mm. <laughs> so, we have not really made our peace with hai kya. Mm. But we are all happy with it. Sasta hai, theek hai, benga hai, theek hai. It is, so, the word I wanted to go for is premium bargain. Mm. And now, mm. this is the second one. Especially in a country like India, which is basically built on Jugaad. IKEA just hits the spot. Mm. So, after you have trust... The next thing that people are looking for is how can I get maximum value for minimum investment? Mm. So that is the second part. So that's how the brain works. Uh, all these things in front of me, I can ignore, ignore, ignore. One thing I trust. All right. I pick it up. Now, do I buy it or not? That is where the part two of this comes in. Premium bargain. Coolness is increasing mating potential, which is procreation. 
Mm. Right? Yeah. Like, why do why do if people go down America? all the way? Yeah, mm. if you go down really deep at the heart of it, it is hey, if I'm cooler, I'll find a more superior mate, and if I have a superior mate, I'll have a superior offspring. Mm. Which means <laughs> I'm going to procreate. Chances of me procreating is further, and that is why coolness is important. Yeah. So the bed better yeah. be strong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's right. that's the logical brain thinking. The emotional brain isn't thinking that. The emotional brain is just trying to see that will my social standing improve with this? Hmm. Will my other members of the tribe respect me more? Will I get more power out of this? Hmm. And of course, what Tanmay said, "Degi kya?" That's that <laughs> <laughs> essential. So there was a there was a book uh, by Seth Gordon who talked about this, and there was a beautiful line that uh, initially everybody was just focused on sales, which is like final numbers. Ki kitna big kya? How many pr- how many units did I sell? Marketing is actually about did you help the customer. Hmm. and that's like a completely different way of looking at it so you have to in order to help somebody and if you reverse engineer it you cannot help somebody without understanding them you mm. can't understand them without knowing them mm. so if i want to sell somebody a phone i can just directly go and say okay listen this is a 1 lakh ka phone this has so much memory so much gb ram all of that you buy it mm. but that will not help them unless i know what do they need it for mm. so if i have an iphone and i'm trying to sell it to somebody i'll be just saying okay you know iphone 12 so much so i'm i'm giving it to you for 60000 but if i want to market a phone to tanmay yeah. i will immediately start talking about his vlogs mm. now that is something that hits him directly it will not apply to most people but i will ask him about all the times when he had a moment with his friends and he would have wanted to record it but then he never had the opportunity to record it in lidar lidar scan and augmented reality but what if his vlogs start having augmented reality what if you can have chat as an augmented reality on his phone and you can just put chat anywhere in the room and i'm talking of the dog mm. <laughs> now this is something that tanmay has never thought of but i can sell the phone to him with this and that is marketing now uh, there is something called as cognitive fatigue so how do you make sure that somebody is making stupid decision and by stupid i mean like the decisions that they weren't intending to make you give them so many choices hmm. so there is a limit to how long you can keep on making rational decision like do you want uh, rice or eggs do you want bourbon or uh, oreo do you want uh, cadbury or dobleron do you keep on giving them choices eventually your decision making just stops and you're like okay theek hai kuch to le lo and you are actually wearing somebody down when you are taking them through that spiral of shopping experience when you are driving across through highways you see all those uh, sign boards right mm. netflix pepsi why do they have them uh, you're not going to stop and buy them right now but it's just that if you keep on hitting your eye with those ads the, the next time you open netflix you might your eye will stop on that serial even if you've never heard of it before because somewhere it will trigger a memory ki acha ye kuch to familiar lag raha hai hmm. without that you might not even notice it so most of the series on netflix people don't even know it is there hmm. until someone recommends aajkal wo type ke ad kahan dikhte hai are are dipika ji ye lijiye aapka sara saman taiyar like wo sab kahan milta hai abhi like you won't hmm. see that kind of advertising anymore i think now all ads are trying not to be ads <laughs> that's forming its own clutter it's like every ad is really? like hey, i'm not an ad <laughs> like <laughs> i'm just like telling you this this that is good but i'm not an ad and you could you can see the way that this has moved because now ads are looking more and more like content correct you cannot tell the difference anymore between an ad and even on twitter like if you unless you're very careful to notice that little sponsored word on top if you're scrolling <laughs> they say say there is a post by barista correct now, now i'm scrolling i'm reading tweets i'm reading tweets and then even before i have realized that this is an ad i've already seen it correct i've already read it and then after that if i know that this is an ad it doesn't matter the brand doesn't care ki mujhe baad mein pata chala because my primitive limbic brain has already taken in whatever information is there assuming that this is somebody i know and trust because otherwise why would it come on my feed 
So when when you are combining ads with entertainment, that is the best combination, and that is actually where things are going in China. There is this huge movement called live e-commerce. Correct. So yeah, they are basically live streaming shopping, and that's it. They're just influencers going through their version of Amazon. and just buying stuff buying stuff asking people okay what do you think i should buy oh my god this looks so cute and people are getting entertained people are giving super chat people are paying them to buy stuff hmm. so that they can wear it and that is the ultimate level of advertising where it is all so meta and uh, you know mixed up with are we being entertained or are we being sold to or is there no difference any if we look at like say the 80s and 90s right and that time there were very few ad spot and there were very few brands who could afford ad spots so the the act of being on tv itself was like it established trust People Correct. were like, "Yeah, this is a big brand. This has money. I'm seeing it on TV. Yeah. Like it might not. Yeah. It might it's be like today. overselling. Yeah, yeah, it might be overselling. Like you know, very boring as content. But that was enough. But now because there's so much capital and everyone can sort of make an ad, uh, you have to be interesting, right? Like you can't just be selly. Do you guys think that the A is equal to B format will still work? मतलब डिओड्रेंट लगाया तो बंदी मिल गई ये क्रीम लगाया तो लाइफ में जॉब अच्छी लग गई दोज वर द एड्स बैक इन द डे राइट टेन फिफ्टीन इयर्स बैक इट वॉज ए इज इक्वल टू बी बीच का कोई कॉन्टेक्ट नहीं है या दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड सम प्रिंसिपल्स डोंट चेंज या इट्स हाउ यू डू ए इज इक्वल टू बी हाउ यू डू इज इक्वल टू बी मैटर्स आई थिंक इट्स इट्स नॉट एज सिंपल एज अभी तुम ए इज इक्वल टू बी नहीं बोलोगे अब तुम बोलोगे कि ए ऐसा होगा तो बी भी तो आ सकती है लाइक इट बी I was thinking more like six, seven grand. So now you look at the price, and it's this much. So the important question is, Anshu, would you buy it? So yeah, it's very subjective. If I have to signal, then I won't buy this because the brand is not there. But if the material is extremely good, and if I can afford it, then why not? But right yeah. now for signaling, then I won't buy it. <laughs> material के लिए कौन खरीद रहा है कपड़ा भाई? Good if it's घूमो <laughs> अगर तुमको अच्छा feel होना है तो <laughs> utility, utility is important. I mean, utility तो you can't you can't beat lungi man. Like, yeah, maximum. Nobody <laughs> wears that anymore. So let's go into a little bit of neuroscience. Okay, okay. This is a section of the brain. Ignore everything. Can you see the two red dots? Yes. That is a part of the limbic system that controls dopamine, and it is called as nucleus accumbens. so every time you feel anything that gives you a lot of pleasure you see something you hear something you taste something that gives you a lot of pleasure dopamine is coming and hitting those two dots right there ah. that is the point that gives you that sense of yes life is good life is worth living i am awesome let's keep doing this more and more this looks like that's the place to put it guard on <laughs> <laughs> step 1 when you saw the jacket that is the part of your brain that got lit up so quite i'm i'm showing everybody like a real time mri scan of your brain mm. after that when i showed you the price mm. this is the part of the brain that got lit up this is called as insula and this is thoda aur aage and insula is the part of your brain that tells you are you uh, safe or not so if if insula is getting lit up it means that you are getting disgusted so as soon as you eat something that is very bad for you like you eat something like 15 day old food insula is getting lit up as soon as you eat it insula is lighting up and you feel like throwing up mm. what is very interesting is that if you see a product and it is priced way beyond what you think it is it is that same disgust networks that are getting lit up you literally feel like throwing up you feel nauseous and then after that when i asked you would you buy it this is the part of the brain so this is a very evolved part this is the medial prefrontal cortex that is uh, ekdam aage ke taraf and here the medial prefrontal cortex will have to value quite literally nucleus accumbens kitna bolta hai versus insula kitna bolta hai so hmm. agar if the disgust is more than the pleasure you are not buying it correct and wow so this is like a very simple way of uh, calculating what happens every time 
you make a purchasing decision basically you make a purchasing decision when pleasure is higher than disgust <laughs> yeah and no you know what it makes so much sense for me because like you have to make like if you have to sell something really expensive you have to make it less disgusting right and to make that if for example sid had shown that same jacket in a super yeah. swanky store right like a uh, like a really cool place i wouldn't have felt so disgusted yeah, because yeah. i'm like yeah i'm a little scared like, like fuck like it's like got all interesting everything everywhere dude. so i'm like it has to be 50k dude this is why iphones are sold the way they are sold right at the moment of purchase if the amount of dopamine released is much higher than how much your insula is inflamed you're likely to make the purchase this is why it takes 8 seconds for you to open the box this is why they put the fucking cover on top of the phone because each of these is a is a dopamine hit and once mm. you get like 6 7 of these dopamine hits no amount of disgust is making you not want to buy that <laughs> because you are too pleasured it's just it's just a nucleus acumens orgasm it's there's no way you got go back from that so if you are anticipating a lot of pleasure there is nothing that will really turn you off like something has to be dramatically wrong for you to not want it after that mm. whereas if you have not put in too much effort in raising expectations then even a small amount of uh, negative news can turn it off mm. so that's what all branding branding is. is that if your brand is of a certain expectation ki ye khareedne se ye hota hai right like ye dio khareedne se mujhe guarantee ladki milegi kyunki inhone itne baar bola hai ki ladki milegi to guarantee milegi उसके बाद नहीं मिलेगी उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता ना आई 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 डू अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन यू गाइस ओके नाउ यू हैव गॉन टू बाय वाइन और यू गो इनटू द शॉप नाउ दिस ब्लू बॉटल इज देयर नाउ यू वांट टू बाय इट बट यू कांट हाउ मच वुड यू पे फॉर इट रैंडमली सो दिस इज दिस वाज इन डॉलर्स बिकॉज़ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग इन द यूएस नाउ यू आस्क समबडी यू आस्क द शॉपकीपर एंड ही सेज इट्स 15 डॉलर ठीक है 15 डॉलर्स बोल दिया बट नाउ हाउ डू यू नो is this appropriate is it a good decision is it a bad decision are you overspending is it a bargain how do you know this so how to decide whether to buy or not now the next time you come in this is the scene this is like giving context to your insula it's giving you something to measure your disgust with <laughs> <laughs> exactly like if agar uh, all the other wine bottles were marked as 1 hmm. then you would get disgusted but it's 50 dollars and now you have a price range you have a context if somebody says this is 15 okay now you can accept it mm. and this is very this is true of again everything everybody that you see you will always take their value subject to the environment mm. and I'll, i'll i'll tell you like a really crazy story this even works with doctors so if uh, i go to the hospital wearing t-shirt and shorts and i prescribe a painkiller that patient is not likely to feel better no mm. but if and i like if i'm standing outside the hospital on the road and prescribing a medicine yeah. but same doctor same medicine wearing an apron in a in a swanky consulting room after charging 2000 rupees to see me god damn right that patient will get better with the same painkiller it is there is so much of subjectivity in how we perceive pain just like there's so much subjectivity in how we perceive value like that is the level to which this shit goes down so when you are doing when you're talking of attention and this is like the most interesting thing for me we think attention is top down like you decide uh if you go to a supermarket mujhe doodh lena hai anda lena hai bread lena hai like okay you go you go there you are you are a disciplined person you are a reasonable person you will go and buy these things you are looking acha milk kidhar hai milk kidhar hai and that is top down attention mm-hmm. your conscious brain is telling your eyes where to look mm-hmm. but the flip side is that while you are buying the milk uske bagal mein there is a new chocolate milk mm-hmm. and you weren't intending to buy chocolate milk in fact you weren't even intending to look at the chocolate but it snuck in from the side of your eyes and it went directly into the back of your head where the occipital lobe is that is the part of the brain that is responsible for seeing stuff seeing stuff mm. and the occipital brain tells 
everything to your limbic system even the things that you aren't interested in mm. it is like the limbic system is saying you tell me everything i will decide important hai ki nahi prefrontal cortex ko jo bolna hai bolne de but i will decide if it is important or not and when the chocolate milk ka image went into the limbic system the limbic system said wait this looks like a nice sweet high calorie thing that will give me a lot of energy in my days in the jungle because you know we are all in the jungle according to the limbic system mm. and so the limbic system start pulling at the prefrontal cortex dekhna are dekhna isko dekhna oh. <laughs> the prefrontal cortex says mujhe nahi dekhna hai i don't want to buy but the limbic system doesn't let it go and that is bottom up attention so it sneaks in from behind it's like the trojan horse so, so tell me this you know so are all of lifestyle products okay like when i say lifestyle like fashion uh you know just watches and you know accessories are mm-hmm. all that basically the limbic system winning over prefrontal cortex because technically i don't need any of that right like i don't need a branded t-shirt i don't need branded shoes i don't need like branded spectacles right like a shirt is a shirt is a shirt but like you know somehow like we end up choosing something that's expensive that just makes us look good despite of the fact that it might not be good for us Yeah. Hashtag #degi kya everything is #degi kya everything is for #degi kya dude can i what is it about your live streams that make me say problematic shit <laughs> no but it's in it's in context it's in context to something very context. it's in context yeah and you know that social media is nothing if not context, <laughs> if not context exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to answer devaya in a sh- in short yes it is all all of it is limbic all of it is basic dopamine driven uh, actions that make you feel like uh, you have a better chance of survival but they are mistaken attempts so mm. they are fooled attempts at survival because they're not actually improving your survival you just uh, your limbic system thinks that they're improving your survival limbic so system you thinks we're in jungle bro limbic system ko pata hai ye ek aur एक और फ्रेज आज बन गया द आइडिया इज डू यू टेल योर आईज वेट टू लुक और डू योर आईज टेल यू वॉट टू थिंक वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू नो बिकॉज यू माइट थिंक ऑफ समथिंग विदाउट रियलाइजिंग दैट दैट इमेज हेज गॉन टू योर ब्रेन गॉन टू योर लिम्बिक सिस्टम एंड योर लिम्बिक सिस्टम हेज देन गिवन दैट थॉट टू यू ओह मैन this is this is what actually none of this is new to brands in by like 2022 may this information is out there to most of the big brands in fact brands like coca cola and all in i think it was like 15 years ago they had their own neuro neuro marketing research division they were doing functional mri scans on people while they were drinking coke uh, like this is all like old stuff that uh, the public in fact doesn't know so I, i i feel like neuromarketing more than teaching neuromarketing to brands i feel like it is the customers who should understand all this mm. because uh, this is mm. happening to us anyway in fact uh, like the coke and uh, coca ad was very very fun uh, what they did was they did a research where they blinded people and put them in a functional mri and they gave them coke and pepsi and they asked them ki tujhe kya pasand aaya and most people said pepsi and then they removed the blind and then they again gave coke and pepsi and most people said coke so there was a there was a difference in what people actually like versus what they think they like hmm. because i think pepsi has a higher sugar content so when you drink it when you are when you are not aware of what you are drinking you instinctively tend to like pepsi more but then the branding of coke is so good that it actually overplays like overpowers what your instinct says and then you end up liking coke more so that was like a big conclusion out of their research so is there um, i'm sure color has something to do with this right uh, mm-hmm. like the color, does it have anything to do with it like uh, you know the color red with say for example yeah. coke or like with uh, any other brands like does that have anything to do with how things so, are especially for fast food and high calorie foods red and yellow and green are uh, more more red and yellow are important because uh, the the idea is that as a monkey in a jungle 
if you are looking at the forest you're looking at a background of green and brown mm. and blue which is the sky mm. the high calorie foods would be uh, fruits oh. or meat and oh. both of them would be red dude this is you're describing mcdonald's, McDonald's. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bizarre oh, all right friends we're going to stop here because that was a lot of insight we're going to come back sit and do a follow up to this uh do uh neuroscience of marketing part 2 and who knows there might be multiple parts uh if you enjoyed this drop us a comment uh let us know if you want part 2 let us know what you want us to discuss uh any particular campaigns you want us to you want sid to break down and let us know why it worked so much uh and do go check out sid on his youtube channel because doctors with youtube channels are more trusted <laughs> Like share, <laughs> like share prescribe like share prescribe like share prescribe